Welcome back boys and girls. And yesterday I went to the range just to prove a point to myself. But I really think I should share this information with other hunters. And that is, is it okay to put a duct tape or electrical tape on the muzzle of a rifle to prevent the snow or other elements getting in? Last year when I went to Montana Elkhorn, it was snowing pretty bad and it was muddy everywhere. And I had other hunters advise me to put an electrical tape over the muzzle of my rifle so that I won't have the snow or mud getting in. But I never tested it out myself, so I was feeling uncomfortable, especially when I'm shooting out to 500 yards. In fact, I shot my elk at 580 yards, so I never put the tape on, but just make sure my muzzle is pointing downwards, not upwards, so I won't have any snow or other stuff getting in. Since then, it's been kind of bothering me. Putting my tape over, would they change the point of impact or the accuracy? So I decided to test it out myself. Now, when I check something out, I get kind of anal about the whole thing. So I decided to take rifles that I know that I could shoot under one MOA at 100 yards at any given day. In fact, shooting about half inch with these rifles was very normal for me. And that's TC Compass in 6.5 Primo and Browning AB3 in 243. And I also decided to try two different kind of bullets for 6.5 Primo is regular soft nose and for 243 it's a ballistic tip with a sharp plastic at the end. And as for the tape, I tried both of them, electrical tape and the duct tape. Let's see. Off the bench, you have to have your mask on. On the bench, you can take it off. Okay. They also claim that, you know, if you can, if you got a good round well weight, you know, wheel weight, they're around about... Okay, like first I'm going to be shooting without the tape on the nozzle at the left the upper target with 6.5 cream. I don't know about the other here, the most of them. And, um, they take the... <laughs> I'm going to be taking the first shot with 243 at the right upper target without the tape. A second shot at the left upper target without the tape. You know, I always had a few thousand, you know, I opened my shelf for all the primers. A large rifle. Yeah, it's touching the bullseye a little bit high, but still touching. Time. Okay, second shot at the right upper target without the tape. 32. Now I don't know what they are, but. Okay, I have the electrical tape for 6.5 primo. It's been double taped. And let's see how it shoots at 100 yards. I mean, the only reason I used to wear those dark glasses is because they're on. Yeah. 243 with double duct tape. Right lower target. With the tape on. Oh, see, it's up there. It's one of those uh, resonance compensators. Okay, second shot with the electrical tape for 6.5 Primo. Left lower. Huh. Now this time even way up 12 o'clock. Second shot with double duct tape for 243. Right lower target. Okay, I'm really surprised about the tape result. I will never tape my rifle during my hunting trip. Okay, that's with 6.5 creamer without the tape and this is with a tape. So there's a big difference here. And there's 243 without the tape and there's 243 with a tape, with a duct tape. Okay, here's the target from yesterday. This is very common with my 6.5 Cremo, this kind of groove. And that's about three quarters of an inch. But with a tape on, two shot, I mean, that's an inch and a half or so. And that's not what I'm used to shooting with this rifle. So you could clearly see that not just the accuracy itself, but point of impact has changed. And with a duct tape with 243, that's without the tape, that's a little bit under one inch. And that's just right about at one inch. You could see the point of impact has changed. Now, if you had a different experience and if you try for yourself and then find out that I'm wrong, please let me know. I'd be happy to go out and try it again. But at this point, I really don't trust having a tape over my muzzle. I really believe that having a fraction of millimeter difference in muzzle could make a, quite a difference at 100 yards and beyond 300 or 400 yards, it could make even bigger difference. I really wish I could have done three sharp group at 100 yards for both tapes, but I really didn't have time. Some of you might argue it might have been me 
and it could be. For those of you who's been following me, I'm not a professional shooter, but I'm very accurate shooter. And I know when I pull the shot. And even when I pull the shot, it's usually about half inch difference. I don't see it going over inch difference when I pull the shot. And also looking at 243, you could clearly see the point of impact has changed. If you're hunting within 100 yards of shooting range, I think it shouldn't be any problem. But if you're shooting beyond 300 yards, Maybe an inch or two difference at 100 yards could make a big difference out at 500 yards or even 400 yards. So for myself, I wouldn't use a tape, but I decided to use a tip of rubber glove and just cover my muzzle and if I need to, I could just pull it off at any time. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have. Enjoy life with what you got, but mostly trust but verify. And have a great Thanksgiving. God bless.